Today is an important day in the life of the university as we celebrate the success of our graduates. It gives me great pleasure to welcome you to this ceremony and to declare this congregation of the university open. Please be seated. Chancellor, university colleagues, distinguished guests, ladies, gentlemen, and graduands. As Pro Vice Chancellor of the University of Portsmouth, it is a great privilege to be sharing this precious moment with you, our graduands, and with your parents, partners, family, and friends. I offer each of you my heartiest congratulations on your achievement. To graduate in your chosen field is a tremendous achievement. Congratulations on persevering and getting to this day, but as I'm sure you've been told many times, this is just the beginning of a new chapter. We are immensely proud of your achievements. Take the time to enjoy the moment, as I'm sure in the years to come, you will look back on this day with great affection. Believe it or not, it seems only yesterday that I graduated. Like me, you will be experiencing a great range of emotions, relief that you've made it, pride in your abilities, a sense of reward in the recognition of your qualification, and perhaps also a sense of excitement, trepidation, and expectation as you think ahead of the next leg of your journey and what adventures and opportunities that will bring. I'm sure there have been many times when you wondered whether you would succeed, but you have succeeded thanks to your determination and hard work. While the sole credit for your academic achievement is clearly yours, I'm sure you would agree that those close to you have played a crucial role. Parents, partners, children and friends have all helped by providing the encouragement and support, the shoulder to cry on, the listening ear. But most of all, they have kept faith in you and willed you to succeed. I think it is appropriate that you should stand up and with a warm round of applause on a count of three, Join me in thanking your family and friends who are here today. Please note that this is being broadcast not just outside a guild hall, but literally around the world on our live streaming. So we want to make this as loud as possible. All right, come on graduates. Can we rise and say thank you to your family and friends? One, two, three. Oh, come on, you can do better than that. Come on. Thank you. We also owe much to the lecturers and the professional staff who have gone the extra mile to help with the problem and those who have inspired you in your learning. I'm proud not just of your achievements, but also the commitment and professionalism of my colleagues here. Today, you're graduating from a university that is recognized as part of the modern global elite of universities, a university that's bold, not old, a university which is a catalyst for change and which has a strong sense of energy, flexibility, and dynamism, a university committed to providing the very best distinctive student experience, an experience that leads our graduates to make a real contribution to society. Be proud that your university has been recognized as a Gold Award Institution by the Teaching Excellence Framework, one of only four universities in the Southeast to do so. This recognizes that our university has demonstrated the highest quality teaching standards and is consistently outstanding. It also recognizes that we provide outstanding outcomes for students from all backgrounds. This has been reinforced by the recent destination of levers of higher education for the graduating class of 2016 which puts our graduate outcomes of students in employment or full-time study within six months at 96.5%. Our university is ranked number one out of the 17 other higher education institutions in the Southeast. On top, that puts us at the top 15% of the universities in this country. The recent league tables in the Complete University Guide, The Guardian, and The Times World Universities 
young universities' ranking all show us on an upward trajectory. These are remarkable achievements for a university which turned 25 years this year. We are very proud of this for you, our graduates, as they give you a degree which you can be proud of and providing you with the best opportunities for the start of your career and your future. With this in mind, we have last week launched our new brand proposition and a new logo to better reflect who we are as a university. Our key brand proposition is ambition, discovery, impact. And over the next few months, you'll see our new logo and crest being unveiled, which will be more, a more accurate representation of who we are. I hope you'll keep in touch with these exciting developments at your university. You're entering into a world that is facing great political, economic, and cultural change. Amidst all that, you may be thinking about finding your purpose in life. I am reminded of the incident when President John F. Kennedy visited NASA and asked a janitor what he was doing. His response was, I'm helping put a man on the moon. You don't have to worry about your own sense of purpose. You're millennials. You will find that instinctively. The challenge is creating a world where everyone has a sense of purpose. This is especially important as the previous status quo, where this came from your job or your community, no longer applies. The disruptive technologies we are now facing are eliminating many jobs and communities are changing. You have a generational challenge to create that sense of purpose for the community and for everyone. Don't under underestimate what you can do individually or collectively. We have seen your generation turn the tide on the general election this year because there was a sense of purpose for the community. You belong to a generation that cares for the community and for its issues, and together you can make an impact on the issues we face. Don't think that someone else may do it. Be prepared to step up to the challenge. I'm also at this point reminded of the words of Steve Jobs, who said, your time is limited, so don't waste it living someone else's life. Don't let the noise of other opinions drown out your own inner voice. And most important, have the courage to follow your heart and intuition. They somehow already know what you truly want to become. Everything else is secondary. Your University of Portsmouth's qualification has real value in the wider world and provides the age that will be vital to tackle the many social and economic challenges that all countries face. It is innovative and creative graduates like yourselves that will make the difference in building a successful and secure future. There is no doubt your degree is valuable, but of course it is your personal enthusiasm and creativity that will now propel you forward. And we want to continue to be part of your future aspirations. In many ways, you never really leave us, because today is just the beginning of a lifelong relationship with your university as members of the Postmas family. Please make use of our excellent alumni association and keep in touch as you continue your journey through life. But please remember that in graduating today, you are part of a privileged minority that has the, had the advantages of a university education. With that privilege comes responsibility. Please reflect upon your obligations as graduates. You are trustees of the skills and abilities you have developed. I urge you to use your talents to help enrich society and to make a difference for the benefit of others. No pressure, of course, but you are the future. And I would encourage each one of you to grasp the opportunities which will present itself. Be ambitious, seek to discover, and make an impact like your university. Do not settle for second best. Thank you. Pro Vice Chancellor, as academic registrar, I confirm that those presented at this ceremony have successfully completed their studies and have satisfied all conditions and requirements of the university. By the authority of the university, I confirm that all those who are duly qualified are hereby admitted to the awards for which they are presented.
Pro Vice-Chancellor, I present to you the following successful candidates from the School of Art and Design. For the award of Bachelor of Arts in Fashion and Textile Design, Kiana Ashton. <laughs> Jazz Bayram. <laughs> Sarah Biggs. <laughs> Rebecca Clark. Haya Duyuli. <laughs> Melissa Ennis. <laughs> Leah Fisher. <laughs> Katie Foster. <laughs> Kayla Fry. Anna Glibbery. <laughs> Kirsty Goldsmith. <laughs> Olivia Emily Heap. <laughs> Georgina Jeffries. <laughs> Artie Joshi. Dilno Kivrak. <laughs> Hattie Levers. <laughs> Iona McCulloch. <laughs> Barbara Michael. With first class honours, Hannah Mitchell. <laughs> Laura Neal. <laughs> Janisha Patel. <laughs> Shivi Patel. With the traditional media award, Jeanette Pejnovic. <laughs> Lily Robertshaw. <laughs> Abigail Shaylor. <laughs> Tom B. N. Cos Sithol. Kramina Slavova. <laughs> Candice War. <laughs> Natalie Whitehead. <laughs> For Bachelor of Arts in Graphic Design, Sophie Bateman. With first class honours, Amanda Benthak. <laughs> With the ISTD award, Stanley Bloy. <laughs> Katie Boast. <laughs> With the DNAD Ones to Watch award, Anna Shapiro Hall. Sam Collier. <laughs> Holly Cregan. <laughs> Niall Donlan. <laughs> Steph Eaton. <laughs> Vlad Fagarasanu.
Megan Fisher. <laughs> Alicia Ford. <laughs> With first class honours, Michael Greenshields. <laughs> Diego Gee. Salamul Hock. With first class honours, Chloe Hickman. Anita Hoxer. With the ISTD Award and with the Graduate Show 217 Design Competition and with the University of Portsmouth Art Collection Award, Chloe Hunt. <laughs> with the ISTD Award, Nisha Jenkins. With First Class Honours and the School of Art and Design Student Achievement Award, James Kelly. <laughs> with First Class Honours and with the School of Art and Design Student Achievement Award, with the School of Art and Design Visual Culture Award, the University of Portsmouth Art Collection Award, and the ISTD Award, Gemma Kendall. <laughs> With First Class Honours and with the School of Art and Design Visual Culture Award, Jasmine Olivia Kenny. <laughs> Constantinus Lapithios. <laughs> Gio Limbo. <laughs> Julian Linsell. With first class honours, Andre Livingston. <laughs> with first class honours, and with the University of Portsmouth Art Collection Award, and with the ISTD Award, Madeline MacDonald. <laughs> Rebecca Maddox. Leo McCarthy. <laughs> Kirsty McCusker. <laughs> Henna Mystery. <laughs> Sheena Mystery. <laughs> Rebecca Mitchell. Alistair Morton. <laughs> Thomas Morgan. <laughs> with first class honours and with the Strong Island Ones to Watch Award, James Morse. <laughs> Louis Moss. With the ISTD Award and with the YCN Student Award, Bethany Nicholson. <laughs> with the ISTD Award, Sean Noble. <laughs> Federico Obrietan. <laughs> Misha Panesar. Jacob Pierczykinski. <laughs> With first class honours, Maisie Priestner. <laughs> With first class honours, Emma Prout. <laughs> Emma Prout. 
Lucy Ratcliffe. With First Class Honours and with the Collaborators Award, Laura Ring. With the Adobe Certified Associate UK Championship and with the Collaborators Award, Tom Shave. Thomas Owens. Beatrice Talmage. Robel Tespa Michael. Louis Chu. Karen Fun Sale. George Varney. Andrew Waller. With first class honours and with the ISTD award, Laura Wallington. With first class honours, Katie White. Yao Ji. Amy Young. For Bachelor of Arts in Illustration, with First Class Honours and with the University of Portsmouth Art Collection Award, Wyman Babbage. With First Class Honours, Emma Bates. Monique Burke. <laughs> Emily Carlton. <laughs> Samantha Jo Carter. <laughs> Will Clare. <laughs> Adam Darwish. Georgia Down. <laughs> Alice Fox. <laughs> With first class honours, Joe Gardner. <laughs> Raina Tu Habib. <laughs> With first class honours, Danielle Hackett. Thomas Harrington. <laughs> With first class honours, Octavia Herdson. <laughs> With first class honours, George Hinchliffe. Hinchliffe. <laughs> Amy Hogg. With the University of Portsmouth Art Collection Award, Ross Hughes. <laughs> With the University of Portsmouth Art Collection Award, Leah Keatley Phoenix. <laughs> with first class honors and with the Strong Island Ones to Watch Award, John Lehew. Tegan Meredith. <laughs> Holly Newman. <laughs> With first class honours, Danielle Noakes. <laughs> Drew O'Hare. <laughs> Vincenti O'Neill. <laughs> Sonia Ogbebo.
Poppia Phillips. With first class honours and with the School of Art and Design Visual Culture Award, Naomi Price. Kobe Pryor. <laughs> Helen Sepp Air. <laughs> With first class honours, Sarah Starr. <laughs> Hannah Summerton. With first class honours, Anna Tromop. <laughs> with first class honours and with the University of Portsmouth Art Collection Award, Elsa van den Hoven. <laughs> Dehanka Waddell. With first class honours, Betia Wentworth. <laughs> For Bachelor of Arts in Photography, George Brooks. <laughs> Lucy Cassidy. <laughs> Faye Clark. <laughs> Kieran Clark <laughs> Beth Cole <laughs> Charlie Couch <laughs> Jody Ann Crossfield Leanne Edwards. <laughs> Annie Evans. <laughs> With the University of Portsmouth Art Collection Award, Thomas Evans. <laughs> Rachel Gilbertson. With first class honours, Vera Hajiska. <laughs> Annabelle Hall. <laughs> Louisa Jane Harris. <laughs> Amy Harvey. With first class honours, Benjamin Hatherley. <laughs> Catherine Hindle. <laughs> Graham Joslin. <laughs> Cameron Landles. <laughs> Sam McAlpine. Ryan Monday. <laughs> With first class honours and selected for Platform Exhibition 2017, Archie Munro. <laughs> With the W.S. Chivas Memorial Scholarship, Harry Anthony Murphy. Sarkis Mutafayan. <laughs> Robert Nikolchev. <laughs> with first class honours and with the University of Portsmouth Art Collection Award and with the Strong Island Ones to Watch Award, Alicia Paya. Ollie Phillips. <laughs> Kat Pinnock. 
Marsha Riley. Laura Reynolds. Helen Russell. Maddie Slater. Danny Smith. Stephen St. John. With first class honours and with the School of Art and Design Student Achievement Award, Aaron Stewart. Imogen Thrower. Melissa Toma. Kaylee Torrey. With first class honours and selected for Platform Exhibition 2017 and with the University of Portsmouth Art Collection Award, Vitorte Trianita. James Turner. Lucy Voller. With first class honours and with the Portsmouth Guildhall Graduate Award, Sasha Ward. Cameron Webb. Rhiannon Wiggs. Sonjay Williams. Robert Sportswood. Shauna Jenkins. Hasika Hamdani. Ian Ma. For Master of Arts in Fine Art, Victoria Alexander. With distinction, Elsa Brims. With distinction, and with the School of Art and Design MA Student Achievement Award, Beth Davis Hofbauer. Kimberly Jane Gray. <laughs> Pam Johns. <laughs> Charlotte Ray. <laughs> For Master of Arts in Graphic Design, with distinction, Jake Bougainou. With distinction, Unetu Berkovic. <laughs> With distinction, Scott Coates. <laughs> With distinction, Mike Dean. <laughs> With distinction, Eric Downer. With distinction, Neja Kalan. <laughs> With distinction, Romina Vici. <laughs> For Master of Arts in Illustration, Christopher Essel. <laughs> Bo Sun Lam.
This concludes the presentation of students from the School of Art and Design. Pro Vice Chancellor, I present to you the following successful candidates from the School of Civil Engineering and Surveying. For the award of Bachelor of Engineering in Civil Engineering, Richard Abdua. <clears throat> Hamis Abdurraham. <clears throat> Mohammed Naveed Amidi. With first class honours, Kosar Akram. <clears throat> Mohammed Al Ashaki. <clears throat> Mohammed Al Asfour. <clears throat> and with the departmental prize for the best industrial placement student, Umar Amin. Joshua Archbold. <laughs> With first class honours, Alex Ailing. <laughs> With first class honours, George Bailey. <laughs> With first class honours, Gabriel Bannerman. Kieran Bramwell. <laughs> Matthew Carrington. <laughs> Leslie Chong. <laughs> David Cueto Mendoza. <laughs> Scott Dance. David Davies. <laughs> Joy DiMauro. <laughs> Jack Dixon. <laughs> and with the Mott MacDonald Prize for the best student in transportation engineering, Jack Down. David Fox. <laughs> Daniel Green. <laughs> Bishnu Gurung. <laughs> Nicolas Haji Charalambus. <laughs> Ahmad Hanoon. With first class honours, Thomas Holmes. <laughs> Kaniwa Hussain. <laughs> John Lejibusi. <laughs> Guy Jemis. John Johnston. John Caliviotis. Hashu Karim. Vincent Leana. With first class honors, Alexander Luke. With first class honors, and with the Institution of Civil Engineering Prize for best full-time civil engineering degree level six student, Richard Mackay. Prasant Madan.
That's right. That's right. <laughs> With first class honours, Danielle Morelli. <laughs> Benjamin Morgan. <laughs> Sibu Siso Moyo. With first class honours, Keelan O'Neill. <laughs> Dan Parker. <laughs> Suraj Patel. <laughs> Rujan Pun. <laughs> With first class honours, Morgan Ryan. With first class honours, Ektar Sat Harwal. <laughs> Massey Sharinza. <laughs> Perry Squibb. <laughs> Anitha Srisad Jandan Andan. <laughs> Hazim Sur Haimi. <laughs> Angie Sito. <laughs> Pranya Tamang. <laughs> Mulugeti Tekla. <laughs> Phone Kant Anting. Binam Tuari. <laughs> Triana Totivea. <laughs> James Townley. <laughs> Mahawi Mesagay. <laughs> Oliver Valentine. Christian Wall. <laughs> Timothy Warner. Warriner, sorry. <laughs> Patrick Williams. <laughs> Abner Wong. <laughs> Salman Zeb. Yingang Zhang. <laughs> Henry Newton. <laughs> Your Jack Abbott. Yeah. Yeah. For Bachelor of Engineering in Construction Engineering Management, Jack Abbott. Ibrahim Al Obeidi, <laughs> with first class honours and with the departmental prize for best full time construction engineering management level six student, Ryan Connolly. <laughs> Jack Devereaux, <laughs> Benton Can. Thomas Knight. Adam McKenzie. Karen Madzogo. Mohammed Noor. Terry Samoa. Liam Shaw. <laughs> For Bachelor of Science in Property Development, Luca Bertoloni. <laughs> Bachelor of Science in Property Development, Luca Bertoloni.
with first class honours, Marcus Body. With first class honours, Oliver Dawson. Adam Dunn. With first class honours, Sam Ellis. Tristan Ellis. Nicola English. Sammy French. With first class honours, James Horner. With first class honours, Katie Hutchings. Harriet Jeffrey. With first class honours, Gareth Jones. With first class honours, Catherine Longstaff. With first class honours, Olivia Norman. Nicole Vijay Patel. With first class honours, Josh Ravenscroft. With first class honours, Scott Spray. With first class honours, Charles Turnbull. With first class honours, Samuel van der Veld. Jamie Wilson Smith. For Bachelor of Science in Quantity Surveying, with first class honours and with the Hayes Construction and Property Prize, Best Research Methods and Individual Project Student in BSE Ons Quantity Surveying, Momchil Bargarinov. <laughs> Miles Boylan. <laughs> Rebecca Channa. With first class honours, Yuit Chuan Cheong. With first class honours, Adam Fastnedge. Kai M. Hyu. With first class honours, Connor Hounsell. Henry MacDonald. Charlie Faroa. <laughs> Ollie Sharp. <laughs> Christine Tan. <laughs> Osbert Ting. <laughs> ben Ulrich. Mahir Vias. <laughs> Daniel Wallen. Okay. Cheyenne Washington. <laughs> with first class honours and with the Curry and Brown UK Limited Prize for Best Quantity Surveying Student with Talent to Make a Difference, Sam Wrangles. For Master of Engineering in Civil Engineering, with distinction, Uray Ba. <laughs> with distinction, James Bragg. <laughs> Marcus Brown. <laughs> with distinction, Harry Cutting. With distinction, Hannah Ducasse. Yeah. 
Christopher Dunlop. With distinction, Rhys Glennon. Sean Goldsworthy. Anthony Horswell. With distinction, Meren Kahalil. Hussein Muhammad. With distinction, Edward Mason. Jeremy Miles. With distinction, Tom Moran. Frederick Munday. With distinction, Henry Nixon. A.O. O'Shaughnessy. Lawrence Pannell. With distinction, Oliver Pointer. Depeche Ray. With distinction, David Romain. Guy Stevens. Robert Wells. David White. Ooh. For Master of Science in Civil Engineering, Wahida Dambam. With distinction, Michael Hadley. Ayai Mathana. Georgia Thompson. Nicolas Tasconas. Tanya Yehaya. Manoj Devokta. <laughs> For Master of Science in Civil Engineering with Environmental Engineering, Abapakur Yumkela Kaluku. <laughs> For Master of Science in Civil Engineering with Geotechnical Engineering, Bukula. Olyaninian. With distinction and with the Hayes Construction and Property Prize for best full-time MSc student in civil engineering, Albert Kojo Tanoi. For Master of Science in Civil Engineering with Structural Engineering, Omar Baltadi. Gabriel Bjor. <laughs> Soyanath Gihame. <laughs> Tofik Hamidavi. <laughs> With distinction, Lawrence Wilcox. <laughs> Aimi Asukua. For Master of Science in Construction Project Management, with distinction, Munda Al Shanfari. <laughs> Youssef Al Utaibi. <laughs> Kamela Bernard. <laughs> Sarah Granger.
with distinction, Emma Howlett. With distinction and with the Departmental Prize for Best Full-Time MSc Student in Construction Project Management, Giannis Constantino. <laughs> with distinction, Stephen Olagidi. <laughs> Nathanwan Pantan. <laughs> Ali Kemal Pala. Okay, okay. Paniota Peter. For Master of Science in Property Development, George Cook. Antonio Fernandez. Holly Nichol. And with distinction, James Ormiston. For Master of Science in Quantity Surveying, with distinction, Lance Buchanan. With distinction, Barbara Buchtar. With distinction, Lawrence Clark. With distinction, and with the Departmental Prize for Best Full-Time Student in Quantity Surveying, Lloyd Evans. With distinction, Tom Farrell. Nellie Hunt. This concludes the presentation of students from the School of Civil Engineering and Surveying. <laughs> Pro Vice Chancellor, I present to you the following successful candidates from Learning at Work. For the award of Bachelor of Arts in Business with First Class Honours, Patrick Stevens. <laughs> the Bachelor of Science in Engineering and Management Studies, Matthew Beattie. <laughs> with First Class Honours, Christian Beats. With first class honours, Anthony Bristow. With first class honours, Maxine Clark. Aidan Daly. With first class honours, Daniel Frost. Colin Harvey. <laughs> Jeff Irish. <laughs> With first class honours, John Manners. <laughs> With first class honours, Christopher McGurk. <laughs> Tim Rosslender. With first class honours, David Webb. <laughs> and for the Bachelor of Science in Engineering Project Management, with first class honours, Joshua Murray. <laughs> and for the Bachelor of Science in Engineering Studies, with first class honours and the Liz Bishop Undergraduate Prize Award, April Lancashire. Stuart MacPhail.
Kelvin Munger. For the Bachelor of Science in Maritime Studies with First Class Honours, Michael Milton. <laughs> Lorna Wilson. <laughs> For the Postgraduate Certificate in Occupational Health and Safety Management, Andrew Galloway. <laughs> Nicholas Jewell. Joseph Madziva. <laughs> With distinction, Julia Molland. <laughs> Simon Plummer. <laughs> Angela Prescott. <laughs> With distinction, Ian Watson Ross. And for the Master of Arts in Business and Computer Studies with distinction, Guts Omerborn. <laughs> for the Master of Arts in Business Management with distinction, Nick McNally. <laughs> with distinction, Rob O'Malley. Hannah Shaw. <laughs> For the Master of Science in Applied Science with distinction, Greg Powell. <laughs> For the Master of Science in Combined Studies, Andrew Igwe. For the Master of Science in Engineering with distinction and with the Professor R.E.D. Bishop Postgraduate Prize Award, Dionisio Gattiera. <laughs> For the Master of Science in Engineering and Management, Michael Banning. <laughs> Paul Barlow. Mark Bishop, <laughs> with distinction, Martin Blench, <laughs> with distinction, Neil Broomhead, <laughs> with distinction, Dean Cook, <laughs> with distinction, Chris Fletcher. <laughs> With distinction, Mark Fordham. <laughs> With distinction, Mark Griffiths. <laughs> Craig Hadley. <laughs> With distinction, Mark Healy. With distinction, Brian Houston. <laughs> Tom Key. <laughs> Laura Mahidi. <laughs> With distinction, Brian Martin. Marcus Mason. <laughs> With distinction, Jonathan Momi. <laughs> With distinction, Jace McAvoy. <laughs> With distinction, Tom McKenna. <laughs> With distinction, Alex McLennan. With distinction, Michael Onwukhalu. <laughs> With 
with distinction, Craig Richardson. With distinction, Paul Shepherd. With distinction, Paul Walker. Andrew Wilkinson. With distinction, Paul Wright. With distinction, Simon Yates. And for the Master of Science in Engineering Project Management, Kevin Thornber. And for the Master of Science in Occupational Health and Safety Management, Daniel Cook. Anne Daniels. With distinction and the Health and Safety Student Award, Ken Mudd. For the Master of Science in Occupational Health, Safety and Environmental Management, Alexander Hammond. <laughs> Geoffrey Hegarty. <laughs> Lee Richards. <laughs> Derek Stevenson. David Thornton. <laughs> this concludes the presentation of students from Learning at Work and today's ceremony. Chancellor, I now present to you Kosa Akram to respond to the university on behalf of the graduates. Vice Chancellor, it's often said that a journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. We, the class of 2017, took this step a few years ago. We threw away the storeboard maps and we began to draw our own. Friends, it's now time to celebrate this great achievement and scream from the rooftops, for we did a great job. Congratulations. Upon our arrival to this historic city, we were swept away with wonders about what would happen next and how this journey would come to an end. Portsmouth has given us countless beautiful memories. Little things, perhaps, such as walking along the seaside, barbecuing the common, watching the cruises entering the port with the golden sun setting, or the spring blossoms of the streets of old Portsmouth. We all came here with a dream. We were also aware that dreaming big requires working hard. The University of Portsmouth has allowed us to pursue what makes us happy, to explore our potential and to shine. With assistance from staff, facilities of our university and its diverse environment, we are now individuals with a tool called I Can. The University of Portsmouth has sought us to dream bigger and to work together, to think outside the box and to remember that there is more to success than just memorizing lecture notes. Our achievements to date has not been easy. We experienced sleepless nights, stressful moments. However, taking a glance around us, 
What we have gained from this era of our lives is by far more valuable. This includes our great friends, a whole new community for most of us, a whole, um, another city to call home, and above all, building strong and confident personalities. Certainly, it's crucial to remember the pillars of our success. Today, I'm honored to re represent my fellow students to show our great appreciation to our lecturers, staff, families, and friends. Lecturers, your enthusiasm and inspiration led us to find what we want to be in life. The way you freed our imagination to do the job has assisted us in understanding what creativity exactly means. For this, we thank you. To all the staff of the University of Portsmouth, we salute you for you are the backbone of our joy today. Through your advice, recovering our lost works, crash programs, for the black coffees and for printing our work just in the nick of time, we have successfully completed this mission. As for the staff of the International Office, we thank you for being our second families and for your presence in the absence of our families back home. Families and friends, your emotional and financial support has paid off. You told us to be strong and believe in ourselves. Thanks to you, we are who we are to today and we are proud of this. We would like to ensure you that you will always have your places in our hearts. Personally, I would like to tell my parents, who are unfortunately not here today, thank you for teaching me how to be a strong female figure and to continue following my dreams. I would also like to thank the person who supported me unconditionally throughout my degree, Antonio. Fellow graduates, we might think that we have come to the end of our journey today. However, it's also true that every finish line is a beginning of a new race. From my starting line to yours, I would like to wish you all the best of luck for what is yet to come. We also need to finally remember what the great writer Jubran Khalil Jubran has told us, that progress is not in enhancing what is, but in advancing towards what will be. Let us all progress with our future plans and step into the world of opportunities. Thank you. usually happen at this point in the ceremony is that we would have an address from our Chancellor, Sandy Toxley. Unfortunately, she's at some secret location filming the Christmas episode of the Great British Bake Off. So, <laughs> so she can't um, be with us today. But being Sandy, uh, we have a, a video message from her. So I'm now going to hand over to uh, Sandy Toxley. First of all, um, may I pay tribute uh, to the mature students in the room who have made the fantastic decision to further their education. Uh, years ago, I met the great novelist Storm Jameson. Uh, she was well into her 80s, and she was preoccupied uh, with taking her GCSE biology exam. And when I asked her why, she said, well, I haven't had time before. And I think that is the spirit we should never be done with expanding our minds, and I salute you. Let's hear it for the mature students. young people. First of all, you are brilliant young people, and don't let anyone in the older generation tell you otherwise. I have every faith in you and can only apologize for the many messes my generation has been responsible for.
Now, I am supposed to pass on some wise thoughts. They say wisdom comes with age. I'm terribly worried in my case. Age has come entirely on its own. Um, but let me give it a go. Uh, I'm not religious, but I do believe there are certain unforgivable sins, chief of which is being bored. Never be bored. There is always something you didn't know, something you haven't heard or seen, which might actually be quite interesting. You could even end up as the host of a show entirely devoted to things which are quite interesting. So take this week. Uh, in 1848, the first ever conference on women's rights opened in Seneca Falls, New York. So that's 169 years ago. And yet there is still not a single country in the world where women have full equality, and that includes the UK. And frankly, if we live in a world where our newspapers can be shocked that Doctor Who can somehow stay upright without a penis, then there is work to be done. <laughs> I am passionate about equality, but you may choose any number of battles. Wherever you plant your flag, fight for what you believe in and know sometimes it's good to get in a rage. If you see a problem, don't wait for somebody else to solve it. Roll your sleeves up and get on with it. But while you fight for what you believe in, I would also urge you to allow room for doubt. Don't be so extreme in your views that you don't allow space for the thoughts of others. No one person or belief system can ever be 100% right. And most important of all, be passionate. Love with all your hearts, for life is nothing without passion. Be passionate about those you love, about what you do. If you ever find you are bored, rigid in a job, I beg you, leave. Find anything else to do. And do not stay with a partner just because you are scared to be alone. You deserve better. And do remember that the friendships which you have forged in your time here flourished because you spent time together. So when you can, try to be in the moment. Well, what the heck does that mean? Instead of texting and tweeting people who are not with you that you're having a wonderful time, try having a wonderful time with the people you're actually with. <laughs> Sometimes that may even be your parents. And um, <laughs> now that you are officially grown up, you may be shocked to discover there is more to them than you thought. And parents, a note to you, there may also be more to your kids than you thought. And you will soon discover this, as even children with degrees are unlikely to leave home. So good luck with that. <laughs> Take the time to consider others. If you don't, then one day they may well fail to consider you. And don't dwell on your failures. I have them all the time. You only have to look on the television channel, Dave, to see them. And, um, <laughs> and they occur so that we can learn from them. If you're running a race and you fall over a stick, standing and staring at the stick is not going to help you to finish the race. What else? Beauty. Oh, my goodness, you all look so beautiful today. And that is because you are young. Um, the bad news is not going to last, OK? <laughs> Boys, your hair is going to go. Girls, you don't want to know what's going to go. <laughs> but here is the good news. Your brain and your store of knowledge is, even with a degree, in its infancy. Never stop learning. Think of the books there are to read, the music there is to listen to. I envy you the journey ahead. Remember, you are part of a privileged elite. If the world consisted of just 100 people, only seven would have a university degree. You're one of those magic seven. And with that privilege comes a responsibility to make a difference. You have the tools now. Use them for good. You will never be enriched by just trying to make money. And uh, absolutely, sometimes rough things are going to happen, but you'll get through them. So I think about Beethoven. His, his Ode to Joy is probably my favorite piece of music. It comes, as I'm sure you know, from the Ninth Symphony. It is a work of genius. By the time the symphony was ready to be performed, Beethoven 
had gone deaf. So what an irony in life. He never heard it. Nevertheless, on the night of the premiere, he was seen running through the streets of Vienna shouting, grab life by the throat. Do that, for that is the best advice of all. You are part of a great human history. Learn from those who've gone before you and do enough that those who come after are grateful that you are here. Be proactive, be positive. Dear God, be passionate. I wish you every success. Go change the world. I know you can do it, and it certainly wants doing. Many congratulations. I would like to uh, add my congratulations to all of those that have already been expressed. Very well done to all of you. Uh, now that brings us to the end of the ceremony, so could you please be upstanding for the academic procession? <laughs>